Don't make me look fat. I'm very careful about my image. What are you doing? I'm very cur I curate my brand, my image, so that I'm not so fat up top. Look, all right. Hi, my name's Derek. This is my house. This is John, my son, the man behind the camera. Say hi. Hi. Thanks. I appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> today we're going to talk. We're, I'm going to show off this thing. This is my coffee. This is my espresso setup, which uh, is my recent Christmas anniversary, Father's Day, Valentine's Day, birthday, uh, Veterans Day, July 4th, Labor Day present for like the next three years. Um, my love for coffee and espresso drinks uh, has evolved over the last 10 years. But this is where I've landed a uh, cafe quality, Italian made espresso machine and grinder. Freshly roasted, freshly ground is my mantra. I've got some ceramic jars in which I keep uh, freshly roasted coffee. Ooh, beautiful. All right. So what I have here is, this is called the La Spazial Mini Vivaldi 2, but it's been rebranded by Clive Coffee in, in Portland, Oregon. This is the Luca A53. That's what they branded it, but it's a La Spazial. This is a commercial quality, delicious, amazing espresso machine. And this is also a grinder, the Eureka Atom. It's very tiny. It's got a nice little hopper. I keep about a day's worth of coffee beans in there. And then this little knob is what you can use to adjust the, the coarseness and the grind, the, you know, the, the fineness of the grind. Uh, everything in here is programmable. It's wonderful. We're gonna just pull a shot right now. And I'm gonna make an espresso breve, which is kind of like my version of a cappuccino. It's made with a little bit less milk. I actually use half and half. It's it's more, it's heavier, but it's smaller than a cappuccino. So what I like to do is measure out exactly how much beans that I'm gonna get out of the grinder. As you can hear, this is very quiet. This is the most silent, quiet grinder on the market today. I didn't even have to raise my voice to talk at you. So as we reweigh, we're at about 17.4 grams of coffee. Not bad. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. That puts us at about 20 grams. So I'm gonna carefully kind of distribute the grounds throughout the portafilter basket here, and then we're gonna tamp it. Now, my technique may be lacking, and I don't have quite the, I don't have a tamping mat or anything like that, but basically you wanna apply 30 pounds of pressure evenly, smooth out that top, and you can see there, it's in there. Now I've already, you can, it's already programmed to be at 95 degrees Celsius. And here we go. Nine bars of pressure, 95 degrees Celsius, and I'm gonna turn it off myself. Now, I purposefully have ground this coffee quite fine. So the shot that comes out is very thick, very flavorful, and yes, it's probably gonna take longer than the the recommended 35 seconds. That's just my personal taste. I'm not a, you know, I like the medium roasted coffee. I like a, a one to one brew ratio. I like it thick, I like it flavorful. Um, it's just kind of my preference. But we're almost done with the shot itself. And here we are. Have a look, that's the shot of espresso itself in this cup. You can see the, the rich, beautiful crema. It's delicious. What I have here is about a third of a cup of half and half. And we're gonna steam that. First you gotta purge, because it's got water built up in there. Yeah, woo! You know all that steam. This thing makes incredible steam. Here we go. 
Can you see it? There we yes. Go. Now I have a milk thermometer. That's all fine and good to use one of those, but really... <laughs> Got a little frothy there. I'm going to chalk that up to I wasn't standing over it. <laughs> um, really, when you, when you steam milk or you steam half and half, you just want it to be... Uh, you want it to get about as hot. You just want it to be hot to the touch to where you can barely hold on to it. So, this has been steamed. You can see it's a little bit more voluminous. It's more airy. It's, it, it appears to be thicker. It's got the consistency of, say, house paint. Now, we're, <laughs> I guess I'll try to do some, some art with it, but I'm really not any good with this. See, it's already... I already made it a little too foamy, but that's okay. Uh, I'm not a I'm not an artist. See, <laughs> I'm not an artist. But let me assure you that that's delicious. And we're gonna, we're gonna taste it right now. Oh yeah, I'm gonna enjoy that. I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna enjoy this espresso breve, and then I'm gonna go to work because I gotta work all weekend. And this is what I need to get me going and charged up for my shift. So that's it. The La Spazia Luca A53, the Eureka Atom, creating a wonderful coffee experience in my home. Stop by anytime, I'll be happy to make you a cup. That, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Smell my beard.